So a competitor is running a 20 kilometer race. She runs each of the first four kilometers at a steady pace of six minutes per kilometer. And after the first four kilometers, she begins to slow down. In order to estimate her finishing time, the time that she will take to complete each subsequent kilometer is modeled to be 5% greater than the time she took to complete the previous kilometer. So using this model, um, part A says we need to show that her time to run the first six kilometers is estimated to be 36 minutes and 55 seconds. And this is for two marks. So to work out the total time for the first six kilometers, we need to have a look back in the question at some of the detail. We see she runs the first four kilometers at a steady pace of six minutes per kilometer. So we can write this down here. We can say, okay, so this would be six times four, because uh, this is the kilometers. And it's going to take six minutes to run each kilometer. So it will be 24 minutes in total. However, after that, things change a bit. It says back up in the question um, that she begins to slow down. And the time she takes to complete each subsequent kilometer is modeled by 5% greater than the time she took to complete the previous kilometer. So adding on to this, we say, okay, it took her six minutes to run the previous kilometer. However, it's 5% more than that. So we're going to times it by 1.05. Okay, so so far we've got four kilometers here and we've got another kilometer here. So we're going to need to add one more kilometer to get to the total time for six kilometers. Uh, but again, she slows down by 5% again. So it's going to be six times and we need to times it again by 1.05. So we could write that and say 1.05 squared. So working that out by putting it into the calculator, we get 36.915 minutes. However, we want to write that in minutes and seconds. Um, so we know that that equals, so we're going to have 36 minutes. And uh, so we've got less than another minute. So we've got some seconds. So we've got 0 0.915 of a minute. So that's going to be 55 seconds. And the reason for that is because we've got uh, one minute, which is 60 seconds, times by 0 0.915, um, which equals 54.9, which is approximately 55. So that's great. That's the answer to part A. Moving on to part B, it says we need to show that her estimated time in minutes to run the half kilometer for r is between 5 and 20 is 6 times 1.05 x to the power of r minus 4. And this is just for one mark. So we're just going to write down what we know. So we know for the fifth kilometer, it takes her 6 times 1.05. Um, I'll write that to the power of 1. And we see, because we worked that out earlier, it's here. So she takes 6 minutes. And then it's 5% more than that. So we're times it by 1.05. And here we also worked out the sixth kilometer is this here. So the sixth kilometer takes us six times 1.05 squared. So it would follow that the seventh kilometer would take six times 1.05 to the power of three. And if we soon work out if there's a common pattern here, we've got, okay, for the fifth kilometer, uh, if we take away the power here, minus 1, we get 4. Okay, the 6th kilometer, we take away the power, we get 4. And the 7th kilometer, we take away the power, and we get 4 as well. Um, so we've basically shown it there. So therefore, it follows that the time taken for the r kilometer is 6 times 1.05 to the power of r minus 4. And lastly, we're going to take a look at part C here. So we need to estimate the total time in minutes and seconds that she will take to complete the race. And that's for four marks. So we know that she runs at a steady pace of six minutes per kilometer for the first four kilometers. And we previously worked out that that was 24 minutes. So we can write that down here and not worry about that. We can just say total time at the start is gonna be 24 minutes. And then we're gonna add on top of that. And what we're gonna use is this general formula that we created in the previous part. So if we do the summation of that formula, so six times 1.05 to the power of r minus four. And well here, this is um, the first four kilometers we're already taking care of here. So this is four kilometers. So for this summation, we want to go from r equals five, because we look at the fifth kilometer and it's a 20 kilometer race. So we want to go up to 20 kilometers here. So now the last thing to do is evaluate all this. This right here, is actually a geometric series that we're going to evaluate. Um, and to do that, we need to know a few things. So we need to know the first term. Well, the first term is going to be when r is 5. Um, so 5 minus 4 is 1. So that's 6 times 1.05, which equals 6.3. And the common ratio is 
Uh, that's because for each kilometer that she's running, we're multiplying by 1.05 uh, because she's taking 5% more time than in the previous kilometer. And we can also say here that n is going to be 16. That's because uh, we've got 20 kilometers in total. We've got four kilometers here. So this is evaluating 16 kilometers. And this is basically how many terms there are. Um, so for each kilometer, we've got a new term. Um, so that means n is 16. And then we can evaluate this using a formula from the formula booklet. It says the sum is a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power of n all over 1 minus r. So doing that, we get that the total time equals 24 minutes plus 6.3 multiplied by 1 minus 1.05 to the power of 16 all over 1 minus 1.05. Um, 173.042 to three decimal places. Uh, just work that by putting that in the calculator. So that's minutes, and that equals 173 minutes and three seconds. And just like earlier, we worked that out by doing 60 multiplied by 0 0.042, and then rounding to the nearest second. So looking at the mark scheme, see where we get the marks. For part A, uh, we get one mark for this line here and one mark for the correct answer. So for part B, we get one mark um, for all this working. Essentially, what we've got to show is that we're making a link between the R kilometer um, and the index here. Um, so that's what we're showing here. And finally, for part C, we get one mark um, for this line here. We get another mark for this part here. Um, so using the correct formula from the formula booklet. And we get another mark here for adding it on to the 24 minutes to get the total time. And we get the fourth and final mark for the correct answer.